Yo, what is up guys? Kansas Marvel here, back at it again with another uh, Marvel Contest of Champions video. I was about to say Lego. <laughs> Alright guys, so on today's video, I'm going to be taking my 3-star Carnage and 3-star Venom uh, into uh, Master Mode. Uh, I think, I believe it's the uh, Sunspot quest, yeah, because I still got to 100% uh, 100 complete it. And I think this is the last path. So yeah, man, uh, I really, really love uh, three, uh, my 3-star uh, Carnage and Venom. I wish I had these, uh, at least one of them as a 5-star. I have uh, Carnage as a 4-star, but I, I, I just never use him. I gotta rank him up. He's only at, like, a rank 3. So yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit more fun, more interesting with some 3-stars. Uh, and I built, like, a... I just built a Spider-Verse team just for the fun, you know, some... I just uh, built with some, like, Spider-Verse synergies and stuff. You know, nothing, nothing too special. I could've probably built a better uh, crit team or something like that, but, eh. So yeah, this first match is uh, is Karnak, and I could have I could have done a whole lot better because uh, I was uh, I was trying this run before uh, I wasn't recording. I did I did uh, I beat this Karnak with like zero damage taken. Uh, I just kind of fought sloppy here. Um, I, I missed a couple of my parries. I took some block damage. It was unfortunate, and I know uh, Carnage probably isn't the best uh, matchup against Karnak since Karnak like. Um, the parries on him don't last as long and with carnage you want to really like ramp up those bleeds you know you want to parry you want to use your heavies and you want to you know get those bleeds up it's that way you just spam your special one over and over you know to, to get those bleeds going uh, and I know he's not the best match but you know it, it still worked out in the end I, I, took best, I did take like 10% damage uh, so it wasn't the best matchup it wasn't the best match I could definitely do a lot better and I did do better before but unfortunately um, you know during when I was recording this I kind of messed up a little bit but yeah, like I said, all you, all you really want to do is just, you know, uh, get those bleeds in and then just keep spamming. I usually, I like doing my special ones better because I feel like it just does more damage and applies more bleeds than my special two. And it's just, I just like playing like that a little more. Uh, so yeah, uh, next up we have Angela who uh, is a pretty good match uh, against his Venom. And again, I kind of messed up with Venom uh, with his buffs because uh, I believe I gained like a, a, a two Fury buffs and then I accidentally... I did a heavy attack and then we switched it to a, a sh uh, um, armor up buff, which was kind of annoying. So here, I have an armor up and two furies, and I, I get rid of my fury, get a, uh, I forgot what that's called, um, like resistance or something like that, and I go again and get a get a armor up, and then I was trying to get rid of the armor up, but I accidentally got rid of the fury and got a crit, but it still worked out in the end because uh, crit and fury is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, this Angela matchup well, it was really really good. I really liked it. Besides the little bit of a, the mess up at the beginning. Uh, I just took off after that, man. It was just smooth kill. Uh, out of the two, out of Venom and Carnage, I like Venom a little bit more. But I love both the champions, man. If I had either champion as a five star, I would just, I would, I'd take them to rank four, maybe even max them out. But yeah, man. Uh, so you use just, I usually use my special two when I have like five or more Furies or five or more buffs to convert them all into Furies, and then he just hits super hard. Even as a three star, he hits really hard. And these are five star, you know, champions I'm fighting with three stars. So that, that was pretty good, like 30 some hits. That was uh, that was pretty good with uh, my three star venom. All right, so next up we have uh, <laughs> we have Magneto. Now this Magneto man messed me up so bad. I uh, taking uh, I believe it's um I was debating on whether or not to take my venom or Carnage, and I ended up taking uh, Carnage. Um and yeah he just he just I he took me down like to like half have my health like fifty percent. It was really bad. Uh, it's because I was I I missed a parry and I actually got smacked in the face. But yeah, so here I was just doing the same thing, you know, just um, just going in there, doing my heavy, applying the bleed, getting ready to uh, do my special one. But uh, he and he also was not playing ball with me at all, man. I, I kept, I was, it took me forever to bait a special one at one point. Uh, he was just, he was just, man, you know, just wasn't cooperating with me, man. He was doing his own thing. So yeah, here just doing his, my heavies, and now and I, and I finally figured out how to dodge a special one, so it's not too much of a problem. But yeah, I just do my SP1, get a parry in, do, do my, uh, do I do my SP1? No, not yet, I don't. Alright, so there, see there, I was trying to go for the parry, I accidentally uh, didn't get it on time, and he just smacked me in the face, and got me down to 51% health. And I was really, really frustrated at this point, I was like, man, uh, there's one point in the video where it's like, like I'm literally there just trying to bait out a special one for like 30 whole seconds, almost a minute. <laughs> it was really annoying, or it felt like a minute anyway. So I think it's here, yeah, we were just going back and forth here, I was just trying, I was, come on Magneto, use your special one now, because I, I just, I really don't like uh, Magneto special two, I can never dodge it, I'm, I was, I would have probably died if I would have got him to his SP2 or took like a lot da a lot of damage, so yeah, finally he threw a special one, and I was like, finally, dang, <laughs> it took forever, but yeah, this this match was pretty annoying, uh, I should have probably taken advantage of him, but it worked out, I mean, I still got him down with Carnage, but it just took a lot longer than I wanted it to take. And I planned on it. But yeah, I just keep going with the bleed. Uh, I still don't got an SP1. 
But now I do, and I go ahead and launch it, I believe. I, right, no, no, I don't, I don't launch it. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for his SP1. I'm trying to bait it out again. And see, he's taking forever. He, like, it takes, I don't know why he just wasn't co cooperating with me. Uh, but thankfully there, uh, I got, like, I was in Assassin's range, and I got him down to, like, 1% health and just finished him off. But yeah, that Magneto was probably the worst fight uh, this entire video, besides Sunspot. And I don't really count Sunspot, because he's a boss. But uh, yeah, that was the worst fight. Uh, next up, I have Ronin. Uh, this Ronin was pretty easy. I as well took in my Venom. Um, did the same thing I did with Angela. Just uh, I was just trying to see which buffs. Uh, actually, I, w I actually got really lucky with the buffs in this one. Or, no, it wasn't in this one. It was in the Black Widow fight. That was probably my favorite fight of this whole video. You guys will see in a second. But yeah, um, this... Um, yeah, there's really nothing too special about this fight. I just took him down. So I got two Furies. I was pretty happy about that. And I just started going into this uh, run in here. Uh, and I was, I believe I was, yeah, I'm charging up, or not charging up, saving my power up for a special two. So I can convert all my buffs into Furies. So I got like six, or I had six. Oh, that was just a dex, okay. Yeah, okay. Now I have six, yeah. I have six Furies, which he hits super hard with six Furies, man. And yeah, this match actually, I, match actually went by pretty fast, faster than I thought. So yeah, here we go, here we go, he's bleeding, and it's about to be the end of Ronin. I don't know what I was doing there, I should have just gone in and boom, he died. <laughs> yeah, so I think the next matchup is uh, Thor Ragnarok, who I used, um, uh, I used, uh, I used Carnage for Thor Ragnarok, because he's actually a pretty good counter counter to Thor Ragnarok, since whenever he, uh, he, Thor, Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok takes like gets like 20 hits, he gains a power, uh, and then since uh, Carnage, he also power gains. You can like just throw the SP1 real quick and just nullify the power gain, which is pretty good. Uh, so there we go. I, I used my heavy, got a bleed on. Then I got like three bleeds on like this before I actually... Oh, no, never mind. I used my special one now. I kind of messed up there. I, I was a little bit out of range. I only got a couple hits in. But that's okay. As long as it hits. And yep, he was going, going. I have eight hits. I believe, man, my, my SP1 does so many hits. Like he was at 12 and he goes all the way up to 18. That's six hits. That's a lot. So here I was just, um, I was waiting to get another parry and then go in with my special one to, to stop his power gain. Because if he would have got all the way up to this uh, special three, he would have just instantly killed me. Because, you know, three stars are still three stars. They don't have much, too much health. My Carnage only has like 5.5k health, I believe, or something like that. So here we go in with the, the heavy attack and going with the, uh, my special one. I was a little bit out of range, but it still, it still worked out for the best. Uh, and then I'm going, I uh, use my special one, and let's just stop his power gain, and yep, that's pretty much it. I uh, just, I believe I'm made out of special one or special two? Special one. Okay, yeah. See, so yeah, man, Carnage is a, is a ramp up champion, but I, I really like using him a lot, man. I enjoy him. It's kind of, sometimes it's frustrating when the champion, when the opponents you fight don't cooperate with you, and they don't go in, and you don't get too many parries. It's kind of annoying. That's why I like Venom a little bit more, because he's more uh, flexible that way. But, uh, and I still think, I think Venom does do a little bit more, a little bit more damage than, uh, than Carnage just because of his like Furies and his crit buffs and all that stuff. He does, I think he does a lot more damage anyway. Not a lot more damage, but he does more more damage, you know, in my opinion. But yeah, man, I got really lucky with, with Venom's buffs uh, in this fight here. I believe I started off with like a crit. Yeah, two crits and a Fury buff, man. That was crazy. And I, I believe that's all I got actually this whole fight. It was just uh, Fury buffs and crit buffs. And yeah, I was kind of worried though because uh, Black Widow, sometimes she like evades uh, out of nowhere. Like, well, she's not, in, I don't know where it's in her abilities, but she she can evade, you know, when you're expecting it, and she punishes you, she can punish you bad for that. So I was kind of, you know, kind of playing on the safe side, only getting in two or three hits before uh, dodging back. Uh, but I believe it, once you get the opponent down to like 15 or 18% uh, health, Venom gains a, a true strike buff, which uh, which means, you know, the opponent can't evade or anything like that or auto block. So yeah, that was pretty good. But like I said, I was just uh, kind of being cautious here. And I, I was trying to parry her, but but sometimes she like uh, she has she has the ability to um uh, uh, she can decrease your ability accuracy or something. So sometimes you can't parry. So I got lucky here when I when I launched my special two and landed it with seven fury buffs too. Uh, so here I believe yeah you get two true strike when you get the opponent down to 18 health, so she can't evade anymore. So I just went just went ham on her and got her down. See so yeah, that was actually a pretty good kill. I was kind of worried, but it actually worked out in the end. So I believe uh, that was the last fight, and now we got um. We got a sunspot, so uh, yeah, sunspot. I just took in my venom <laughs> to, to just to see, just to see what I could do, uh, but I, I wasn't able to take him down. And I could have taken carnage, uh, but I didn't do. I didn't take carnage just because I didn't want to make this video longer. I knew I wasn't gonna take him down with carnage or venom, so I just took in my dog hawk at the end and took him out. But I mean, it was it was still you know pretty interesting fight. The thing that's that's annoying about this is that he has the like the incinerate incinerate debuff node, where if you don't hit him in a certain amount of time. 
you gain a incinerate effect, which is so annoying. If it wasn't for that, I could have easily taken down this uh, this sun spell. But I mean, I guess that's that's part of the challenge, you know the that that uh, node there. So yeah, that that's that's pretty annoying. But still, you know, I guess yeah, because that's what ended up killing me really was the incinerate. I believe I got two incinerate effects or debos, and then I just died from that. But I was actually doing pretty good for this first try. I got him down to like 57% health. And maybe I could have taken him down with Carnage. Uh, maybe. I doubt it though. Because I already tried it with Carnage before before, uh, before recording this video. I, I, I got to the I got to sense the Sunspot boss and I took him Carnage. And I'm down, I got him down to like 50% health. So that was really good. Uh, but I just I decided I didn't want to take too long on this video. Because I knew I know it would have taken a little bit longer if I would have took it in my Carnage and just failed. So I just took him Doc Ock anyway and just took him out. So yeah, I got, got him down to 57% health, and um, and I just took him my Doc Ock and finished the job. So yeah, man, uh, like I said, Venom and Carnage are, are two great champions. I love both of them. I really, really wish I had either Venom or Carnage uh, as um, as 5 stars. I remember one time I opened a 5 star crystal, and uh, it was right it was before uh, Venom and Carnage got their buffs, because before that, they sucked really bad. <laughs> and it was... Uh, it was it rolled over to Groot, and I was like, "Please go over to Venom. I don't care if he's trash. I just, I just really want that Venom. I, I'd rather take Venom than than uh, Groot." But I ended up getting Groot, and I was I was disappointed. Uh, but yeah, looking back at that, man, if I would have got Venom, I'd have been set, man. Venom is such a beast. I really love Venom a lot, probably more than Carnage. But I, I like Carnage as well, man. I don't care if I get any of them as, as five stars. Uh, but yeah, got, finally got Sunspot down to seven percent, and boom, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah. Alright guys, that was the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and liked my Venom, my 3-star Venom and Carnage gameplay. Um, stay tuned for lots more Marvel Contest of Champions stuff coming soon and more LEGO stuff and other stuff like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff coming soon. Have a great rest of the day, guys. Take care. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace.